Well, I think there's a huge gap between the union we've got and the union we need. We're facing an absolutely massive onslaught from employers and the government in terms of jobs, our paying conditions, our public services and our rights. And uh, though I think there's been some progress in Unite in recent years, we're just not matching up to that at all. Uh, and I think Unite needs a shake-up to make it a lot more effective. Uh, so there was that on the one hand, I think we keep missing opportunities, so I think today's demonstration has been absolutely magnificent. I think it would have been brilliant if we'd called something like this in the middle of the junior doctor's strike when the Tories were on the back foot over the health service. I think it was a mistake to get them, let, let, give them the time to get back up off the ground and start giving us a kick in instead of kicking them when they were down. I think the campaign against the Trade Union Act has been absolutely pitiful. So I think we keep missing these opportunities and there's also been some policy issues that I've been very angry about so for example on freedom of movement uh, obviously a lot of our members come from all around the world we rely on our unity uh, to have strength to be able to fight back whether it's in defense of the NHS or whether it's on our workplace issues um, and whenever there's nationalism or racism it undermines that unity it undermines that strength and it makes it harder for us to win and people are feeling afraid at the moment. Their rights are under attack if they happen to have been born outside the UK or not have British citizenship. And I think part of the job of the union is to stand up for workers' rights. And I'm finding it disappointing that I'm the only candidate in this election that's prepared to speak out clearly in favour of freedom of movement and workers' rights to be treated equally wherever they go. No, I think, uh, you know, Unite, we often campaign uh, when we're campaigning in workplace issues, we often highlight the fat cat salaries of our bosses uh, and we make a big issue out of that, saying the level of inequality in society is completely unjustified. And I think it gives ammunition to our enemies, whether it's the employers or the right-wing press, to have people at the top of the union who are on six-figure salaries as well. So if I'm elected, I'll stay on my current salary, which for the avoidance of doubt is a little bit less than Len McCluskey's.